All right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you all. I was uh, making sure all the logistics of the today show was all set up. I'm so happy to bring back our guest, David Plummer III, who's also our real estate coach. And I'm really happy to have David on today's show, especially because we are in the fourth quarter. <laughs> David, yes. welcome to the show. Thank you for uh, blocking out some time again to come back as our guest. I wanted to make sure we reshoot because you just, everything you talk about in class, what we talk about on 101 is so relevant, is so important, it's so needed for agents, newbies, veterans, and all those who are wanting to do this as a business. And I think that's what makes me so excited about this is because it's running our real estate business as a business. It's not just, woohoo, I got my license, I'm gonna go out here and sell properties. There's more to it, right? So I want to leave the floor to you, but let me just uh, say this to everyone. If you're new to the show, this is Ready, Set, Real Estate. This is a real estate platform where you will be learning about real estate advocacy, real estate literacy, real estate education, real estate empowerment, special guest features of millennials in real estate, and that's all aspects of real estate. And what we do here on the show is to actually shed to light what we are doing through our nonprofit organization, Real Estate 100 Youth Foundation. And our mission is to empower the youth and the next generation with real estate literacy, careers, and education. So David Plummer III, welcome to the show. Thank you, Lisa, for having me here again. It's always my honor and my pleasure to do whatever I can to assist you here. Yay! I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. <laughs> so for those people who don't know of you, we're not going to even assume that everybody knows what David Plummer has been up to, but um, DP3 in the house, like DP3 is in the house. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. It's our time of the year. Right. So speaking of being, it being our time of the year, tell us the significance of being in the fourth quarter as it relates to 2018. Well, I believe that the fourth quarter is the most important quarter of the year for anybody, but especially if you plan on launching your business next year. In January, I'll get a bunch of calls from agents saying, David, I need to earn some money. I need to do this and I need to do that. And I'm going to tell them, wait a minute, you forfeited the first quarter by not working the last quarter. So my goal every year is to get all my coaching clients, to get all of my other clients to buy into October, November, and December are so crucial. Let me just give you a quick stat. In Please. the first quarter of 2017 in L.A. County, now this is only L.A. County alone, there were 17,000 transactions closed. That meant that there was 34,000 checks given to real estate professionals. Now, all those checks were earned when? October, November, December. Now, what's going to happen is I'm getting a lot of ages because it's the holiday season. They're going to say, you know what, David? I'm going to take off the time and I'll come back in January. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. Yeah, I... Second number. Second quarter, 23,000 transactions closed. That meant a lot of people did a lot of business from October to February, setting up the second quarter. I'm here to tell you, if you plan on launching your business, if you plan on having an incredible 2018, it starts now. It starts with your business plan. It starts with you deciding, hey, you know what? I can't take off all that time for the holidays. I got to get busy. I got to go to work. You want to be closing transactions in January and taking listings in January, not getting started. And the way you do that is fourth quarter of 2017. That you did that, and you went in like a coach. Like I felt like I was on the football. Oh, sure. I was on the. I was on the on the green right now. I was on the turf. <laughs> hey, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. Right. And that's exactly what you bring. You bring that excitement. You bring that, and then that goes well with my high my high energy. I'm just like ah, let's dig it, let's get it. Um, and I'm so pumped. And that is so true, especially towards the end of the quarter, because as we are looking at seasonally, how the market is changing, uh, people, we're naturally going to want to do what everyone else is doing with family time, you know, work, things are slowing down. So we want to get into the groove of the 
holiday season. <laughs> and um, it is so critical for us to, you said the business plan. Let's talk about the importance of the business plan and your spin on the business plan. Well, I believe in order to run a business, and I always tell everybody, you're running a multi-million dollar business. If you don't start with a business plan, can you imagine McDonald's, <laughs> Google, not having a business plan for 2018? Well, that's how we are in real estate. We need a plan. How much money do you want to earn? How many transactions is that going to take? Do you want to be a listing agent or a buying agent? How do you want to prospect? What method do you want to use? Phone numbers? door knocking, social media. See, you have to have a plan. I always say, if you don't have a business plan, you're running a hobby. And hobby, you get paid mm -hmm. inconsistently, maybe a couple of deals. But those who start this year with a business plan, with a for real marketing plan, which says that I want to earn 150000 I want to earn 200000 whatever the number is, and then you put together how you're going to do it. What's the action behind it? Not just, I want to make $100,000 and then nothing. No, 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 no. I want to make $150,000 and here is how I expect to do it. So important to plan. And that's where a good coach comes in. I, I, you know, I think I'm a great coach. I think I can get the best out of anybody. I would love to work with anybody. But you, it all starts with your desire to want to sell real estate and want to be one of the best. And secondly, to get a business plan. Right, right. And that's just a snippet of the wealth of, information uh practice that you bring and i can i can you guys i can i can i can say this personally and uh david and i have known each other how long now like maybe year three two three year three year three well, we talked for two hours one day and then did not reconnect for about a year or a year and a half a year and a half and that's all I did I talked I was actually talking about what I, I was sharing with you so I, I'm not just about being about the talk but I was putting something into play and I had shared with you that I was going to release my first book and I felt like this was going to be huge and but at the same time I had a plan for that and it was such a marketing tactic for me in order to build my business because there was still a bigger picture, right? I still had the bigger plan and it was how do I get my foot into this industry, right? Especially for me being one of the younger people in the industry and not for me not being around um, who do real estate all the time, talk, eat, breathe, sleep, work, sell, buy real estate, that's intimidating for someone that, to come into the industry. And I really want to say that um, in, in terms of those who are new agents and who are getting in and they say, well, I'm not quite ready for this. I'm not quite ready. But um, how, you know, how do we get past the, the fear? It's really the fear of thinking you're not ready. And it's like David is saying, come in with a plan or sit down with someone and lay out a plan, like right. the plan it has to be written. And I'm huge on that. So not just being an author, but just being someone who tangibly is consciously creating what I desire long term. So planning. Uh, you mentioned something about um, uh, door to door uh, marketing, how how you were going to do that. System strategies. What what Talk to us a little bit about that. So I believe that in order for you to build a business that you want, there's got to be strategies and systems. So the first thing I want to know is what method do you want to use to contact, the prospect, the lead generate, or, or as I like to say, find clients. And if you're going to do it by the phone, you're going to do it by email, text messages, or you're going to do it by billboards, open houses. So you've got to have, I believe, three to five methods. You can't rely on one. Now, there are agents out there who have one, and they're really good at it. They're really consistent. Like I have an agent, he makes phone calls for six hours. And he's fabulous. And he does about 60 to 70 transactions a year. But he's on the phone six hours a day. But you have to develop what's best for you. What's your niche for prospecting? And then we talk about systems. My number one system is a database. I believe everybody needs to have a database. Why are we going to go out there and do all that prospecting and not have a place to drop their names, not have a system for touching them 
or dripping on them in the future. But you got stuff like just listed, just so, expired, absentee only, small apartments, NODs. You got a number of ways to have strategies for doing your marketing. Now, I always say you need about eight to 12 strategies, eight to 12. And when I talk about eight to 12, that's if you want to a repeatable, a consistent and repeatable mm -hmm. six figure income. You got to have more than one way to do business. You know, as McDonald's, when you look at their menu, they don't have just one hamburger. They got so many hamburgers and chicken and salad <laughs> and, and apple pie. They got all kinds of stuff on their menu. So as a real estate professional, you need several different ways, not only to market yourself, but different strategies and systems. Because if one is not working, you can always fall back on another. For, for example, probate. Right now, probate is a great system to get into. Okay. 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 Yeah. I, I don't, that probably went over a lot of people's head because you really went in on so many streams of income and, and, and we always talk about that's pipeline, right? That's I, keep it. Yes. We always talk about pipeline, making sure that you are putting stuff in the pipeline. Right. And for those who are new or even the veteran agents who need to hear it, or those who didn't attend your 2008, uh, 18 real estate summit. I heard it was off the chain. I, it didn't work with my schedule, awesome. but we had a great time, Lisa. We had a great time. <laughs> great. I'm so I'm so happy that you are doing things like that, so that people can't say, at least in the industry, that no one is offering this to me. Right? I don't have a a, a support because it's just getting connected with people and learning more about what exactly that they do. And that's why I'm excited because like I said, we talked about this just the other day, right? DP3, what is DP3 doing? He's out here working with top producers, new agents. You've partnered with me. And what I'm really excited about is because the new agents, and you do this for other brokerages as well. You're not exclusive to, to, to me, but in supporting other uh, brokerages, and training new people to come into this industry. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about the importance of what I'm calling right now, passing the torch? Well, so what happens is generally when new agents get in business, they're part-time. And when they go at most firms, most firms train from Monday through Friday, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 2 p.m., whatever, when they're at work. So right. what I decided to do was to open up a, a way for them to be trained on the weekend. So I started what I call my new agent Saturday training class. It's a fabulous class. They get tremendous training. Anybody who's part-time, who wants to be trained like a full-time professional gets to come to this class. I'm going to start putting the class on a webinar, probably starting real soon, November. So anybody, any part-time agent just, just feel like I've gotten this business. I'm not getting trained. I, 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 you know, I need help. They can always call us. Um, right. Right. Like right. That, then that's so important um, for them to see. And it's it's that's so relevant. I know Hugh and I talk about this too in terms of scheduling with people trying to do things around their nine to five, their part-time, their work schedule. So it, it's, it's very rare to have an opportunity to come into this business as full-time, which means you're stacked and saved <laughs> or you have a spouse or partner that is supporting you. Um, and these are the things that most people are not talking about in terms of what it takes to actually get started. Um, we, you have various stories that that range from it took someone a year to close their first deal to maybe three months to 30 days, 90 days. What would you say, say would be a different distinguishing factor or differentiating factor with those who can do it within 60 days versus it them taking a year. What are some things that maybe stick out to you? Training. Okay. Training and, and, and having a support team, you know, having your broker or your mentor be there with you. And what I what 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 we find out a lot of times is brokers and office managers, they get extremely busy. And for most of them, they really don't want to deal with part-time agents. I'm gonna keep it real. They don't want to deal with part-time agents. They'll take mm -hmm. your license and they'll take your fees. But if you can't make their meetings, it's it's tough. So right. it's most, and it goes back to being confident. If you're not trained, you're not going to be confident enough to be able to pick up a telephone or knock on a door and, and have your script down and, and talk to people if you don't know what to say. And so most people, they lack the confidence because they haven't 
been trained on what it takes to be a real estate agent. And it's so important. And that's the difference. See, and one of the things that I, that really sticks out to me in terms of the importance of training, which is why through the work that we do through the nonprofit or those that come in under our internship program is um, a level of professionalism, ethics, because we are noticing that there are folks getting licensed left and right. Woohoo, that's cool. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but when you're actually in a deal, are you actually out there with clients? And we're talking about risk and liability that you're not only exposing yourself to, but also the brokerage, um, depending on the level of your license, whether you're a salesperson or broker, and not having proper training. Yes. It, it, it just, oh my gosh. And, and I'm dealing with this right now with having a listing and I'm getting calls on it from agents that I just lack training. Uh, well, <laughs> we can, yeah. We can do a whole nother segment on that. <laughs> Because it's one thing to be trained to go get a deal. It's another thing to be trained on how to close that deal. Ooh, very, very big difference. But what happens if you get stuck and your broker, you have a question you need to be answered on a weeknight or, or a weekend and there's nobody there to answer. Right? Yeah, so it's important. It, it's important to, to know how to get a deal, but more importantly, how to close the deal. How to close a deal. Oh man, that 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 hit home. That hit home. <laughs> and I think for some of the agents that are listening, tuning in, that is just so significant um, because that's when you realize when you do need the help. It's, you know, can you make that phone call at eleven o'clock midnight? Because eleventh hour stuff just happened and you need to figure this out. Um, yeah. I've I've definitely in, in having done this for some time. I definitely have had those scenarios. I'm grateful that I do have a support team that does answer the phone, that responds yep. to email, that responds to text messages, uh, because those are things that are critical beyond what you are seeing in terms of the glitz and the glam, maybe, that's being presented. Come on on board. We'll sign you up. And it's just, and I'm, I'm spotlighting this because it's just keeping it real. And for those who know me, I'm going to I'm gonna say it like it is. It is one thing to say I've got my license. It's another thing to say that I'm with a company. And then it's another say to say that company is supporting me right. as a licensee. Absolutely. So that's why that's why I'm saying let's, you know, I'm, I was like so happy to bring you on board because we're talking about fourth quarter and yo, 2018, this is planning, preparation, execution. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's time to rock. If it's you time to rock. Money in 2018. It's time to rock. It's time to get it going now. Right, now, right. Don't call me in January and February talking about I need to earn some money. You, you've given away four or five months. Let's go to work now. Let's make a decision now that you want to make 2018 your best year ever. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call me. If you just want to talk to me, don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Do At you want to drop call me? Several times at 10 and 10 at night, 11 p.m., I'm going to pick up my phone. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we've had tremendous conversations. Right. I'm here for my clients. Yes, yes. Speaking of that, we're going to wrap it up. Wrap yes. it up. Just wanted to give them a little hint, a little flavor, a little taste of, of DP3 and what we're doing and just to support, to continue to support what we're doing. Thank so you. Uh, do you want to drop the number? I'll put it on the screen, but you can read it off to them. You can. Uh, right. So to reach me is easy, 310-505-0458. Again, that number is 310-505-0458. You can text me at the number. I will get back to you. I'm not one of those guys who doesn't return phone calls. I return phone calls on that day. So if you reach out to me, I'm getting back to you. I will make time for you. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. You're welcome. Also, just real quick, coachdp3.com is at the website so that they can subscribe, um, get signed up, stay in tuned. Um, we just, you know, I know we didn't do this pre the real estate summit, but I know you're going to have more things lined up throughout the year. So I just want to make sure you guys, David Plummer III, he, you can check out his website at coachdp3.com. Uh, I'm going to plug it here as well so you can have it. And um, David, have a powerful, productive week. I'm certain no, I'm going to see you later today. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Take care, everyone.